So here we have the five door mini hatchback on a 69 plate. I'm gonna start off by showing you inside the boot and then we'll hop in and run through some controls on the inside of the car from there. As we approach the back of the car, you can see that we have plenty of boot space along with that 60-40 split folding rear seat, should you wish to increase this space even further. Okay, now that we're inside the car, we're gonna start with the dials. On the left-hand side, we have the rev counter. We have the speedometer in the middle and the fuel gauge over on the right-hand side. Also in the middle, you can see the total miles of the car. There are 11,799. You can change the information displayed above that by using a button on the end of the indicator stalk. For example, you can have a digital readout for the speedometer, as you can see. We back out to the steering wheel. Uh, we have a speed limiter on the left-hand side and then stereo and phone controls on the right-hand side. The stereo itself is over in the centre just here. So you've got various icons, phone being one of them, of course. You can manage mobile devices and connect a new phone from there. Now you can either use the touch screen as you just saw me doing, or you can, as you can see, move everything around uh, using this dial. Uh, so the dial will rotate. You can push it down, it pushes up and down as well. Uh, so for example, rotate it to uh, radio and media, for example, press the button down, you'll be in the radio media screen uh, where you'll see we've got DAB, FM radio, Bluetooth audio, and USB input too. You can also then come back out to the home screen. You can access your satellite navigation. Uh, nice, clear color display, very easy system to use. We've actually done a video showing how this system works, which you can find on our website uh, and also on our YouTube channel as well. Working our way down, we then have the air conditioning. So you can adjust um, the direction of the air, the fan speed, the temperature. When you're happy with those settings, that button will turn your air conditioning on. Same button will turn it off again. Uh, you can recirculate the air that's in the car. That's a great way of heating it up or cooling it down quickly, depending on the temperature you've set just here, of course. And we have our rear heated screen there as well. Uh, that button will start and stop the engine. We can turn off our traction control for the car. And this one will turn off the stop and start. So this vehicle is designed to cut out when it's stationary in traffic to save you fuel. The system is off when that light shows. And then lastly, we have the gear lever for the fully automatic gearbox. All that leaves me to say is thank you for taking the time to watch this video. If you'd like to come and see the car in person and have a test drive, please feel free to call either of our MJA sites. We'd love to hear from you soon.